That was the mailman. I had to go off Wi-Fi. I can't get Wi-Fi in my own driveway. It's absolutely awful. Anyway, I'm gonna just do this puppy real quick. And I know the pager is hard for people to understand if they've never been exposed to it before. It's, it's hard for me to understand. And I've used it for 20 years. You know, it's, it's very, very exciting work. Anybody who's interested in dog training should be interested in this work. I mean, it's, that's the reality of it. It's, it's yet to be, we've yet to understand what it's capable of. Anyway, I'm just going to do a quick drill with queso because apparently yesterday when I was out there, it's all you guys' fault doing the shepherd video, I left my halo out there in the field. I'm pretty sure squirrels couldn't carry it off. You never know, though. I don't know if you know that. Uh, hi, Lazaro. Uh, I lost one of my remotes in the back, Timothy, I, and it was on video. I saw it fall, went and gone figured out squirrels took it. I took an old one that didn't work and put it back there in the same spot. Yeah, it was gone too. It, George was trying to say, oh, someone could have stole it. Yeah, George, someone said someone might have dropped a remote. I'll crawl around out here in this dark pasture overnight and steal it. Please. So I'm just going to do a fast drill. I know what this dog's caveats are. He tries to do everything too fast. So what I've got is my very weak pager. So the only application I have for it right now is the recall. And if you said why, I want them to come a certain way. And if you said what way, the fastest way possible, you know, and you would have to say to yourself, if it, this is your friend and all these things, and they told you to come to their house and you took the long way because you didn't know any other way and they got mad and you said, you didn't tell me the shortcut. And so if you said, what's the shortcut? Pivoting basically a foot plant and rotating pivoting around on that shoulder and coming back that's the fastest way to get back to the handler so unless you teach them that that's the fastest way that's not the way they do it so I'm just gonna hide the stuff and then I'm gonna have to go out there because the battery on the phone's getting ready to die and hopefully the halo oh god I think it rained too if I had to guess that thing's waterproof though all right look so I've got my phone And I'm going to tell you right now, my putting something on the top, when I went out the other day and I put those things on top of that bench, that's how he knew to do it. That's how he knew to do it because it looked familiar to him. All right, I got to hide these a little better. Your job, if I said, well, I want him to come as fast as possible, then what I have to say to myself is I better teach them the fastest way to do that, which is a behavior that they already have. Because if you said, I've never seen dogs spin around like I do in your recall videos. They do it all the time. Another dog's chasing them. Oh, I've got that one video. I don't know if I can upload it, though. I think I could probably find it. It's got music on it, but Solo gets this stick from the other dog. That bitch foot plants it, throws it in reverse, and is gone in the other direction before Alex knew where what happened. Before Alex knew what happened to the stick, Solo had done foot planted and taken off in the opposite direction. Uh, oh, the other thing, I got this little bracelet. I can try putting this up. I ought to be careful, though. I don't want him eating that. All right, let me go grab him.
was trying to get him onto that platform. Yay. Yay. Oh, he knows what's important. Yay. Just like Mommy loves the phone. like these keys. Oh, am awful. All right, he's got to travel way far down there. Yay. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> Yay. Yay. He just shoved the footstool out of the way. I know you can't see that. All right, my job is just keep looking down there. You got to travel back. No, he's got to take his break. And if you said, why will it travel back there? If they've done it once, you've really got to assume they'll do it again. Yeah, there, there he goes. Yay. Yay. I think that was everything. Oh, no, the little bracelet. The little bracelet. i got to try looking at it. can't do sunglasses. You can't smoke cigarettes. I hate to have to tell people that, but you can't. Yay. Yay. Oh, he's absolutely precious. Anyway, guys, let's walk down. You guys can go with me. Let's walk down and hope to God that halo is still down there. All right, let's see if we can get down there before this thing dies. Oh, hi, Susan. Yeah, this dog's got all kinds of go, and I mean, it is artificially installed. I mean, I, it, it's not just this way. It's, it just shows that you can take whatever they've naturally got and augment the hell out of it when they're a puppy. I mean, people aren't doing that. They're trying to correct. I could be saying right now, and I'm gonna correct his biting. I'm gonna correct his this. I'm gonna correct his that. There's nothing to correct. Queso! So you said, when did you hit the pager? <laughs> yeah. uh, concurrent with the name. I clicked it. And that's a good drill for you guys at home to do. The dog can't go any further. Because if you said, well, tell me the concept of the recall. Two, two basic subtasks. Those are all broken down too. But come back as fast as you can and don't go any farther forward until the dog has both of those it really doesn't have the electronic check cord well he'll probably head straight for that platform anyway i've got molly to drive the dog queso but you can see he's already oh he's gonna be a trouble timothy this one's gonna be trouble he's if you said what's he doing he's throwing a leap in at the end oh he's throwing a leap at the handler if you said, where does that come in? Oh, and it weighs 90 pounds and it's flying at you. Clearly, that's going to be a problem. Anyway, there's my box from Amazon. Oh, my God. I only knows what I've ordered now. That's what I call it. Oh, look, the mailman he just threw it down, too. All right, look. So he's headed for the water. I'm not going to stop him. I've got to have something. 
you know, if you're not saying, well, I'm safeguarding the dog because then you'll get these people, well, it won't go ahead, I can't do the recalls. Okay, yeesh. You know, what have you done to do that? Oh, God, please. Be oh, here's the halo. I hope it didn't get wet. Oh, I probably had it on all night, though. Oh, no, it looks like it still, looks like it still works. Okay, hang on, you guys, hang on. Oh, perfect. <laughs> what are the chances? That's what my parents got me. I, I, they don't really put cards or anything and stuff, so I just, I get stuff in the mail. I really don't, and I, I don't know where it came from. And then they said, did you get our gift? I go, was it a battery charger? <laughs> but I didn't really know what it was, but now it's the best thing ever because now I don't have to tell you my phone died. Uh, so I'm saying to myself, Molly will drive this puppy out ahead of me, so that will be my chance. That will be my chance to drive the dog back in my direction. So I'm sure you saw how that Because I'm saying, if I call you, what I want is for you to turn around and come back as best you can. The only way to do that is this way. You can't stand there. You can't make them stay, walk away, make them calm. It, that doesn't work. You've got to say the dog has to be facing away from the handler. Ideally, there's something in front of the dog that's driving the dog away from the handler. And you're just driving it back towards the handler. The faster it's going away, that's what you have to say to yourself. That's the physics part. The faster it's going away, the faster I can get it coming back at me under the laws of physics. A body in motion remains in motion until an external force affects it. That's the principle. You know, and you're just affecting it enough to bend it. And you remember the old school days, Timothy, with the, uh, you know, that's how we did it back prior to 97. You bent them with the constant. Now you can bend them with the pager. All right, let's just try it again. And if you said, what's the byproduct of that? I will tell you, they'll, they'll develop that same turn on the retrieve. And that can be hard to get. If you, if you don't have the turn, if you said, well, I want that flip, uh, that, you know, rotate on the return on the retrieve, I'm just going to tell you, and if it doesn't exist in the dog, it's, it's not going to suddenly happen. It's not going to suddenly develop this footwork of bringing it, maybe if it's, you know, I don't even know who the top studs are. Oh, uh, so I'm sure some Evan Star Lean Mac uh, great grandson by now. Oh, I'm sure. There's no way. There's no way that is. Uh, all these dogs don't have a direct father line to Lean Mac. It was the most bred dog in history. Oh, maybe not in Europe. Anyway, you guys get the idea. So I'm just using my pager and I'm just, I'm clicking it. But I'm adding everything to it, too. It's not going to... I did this... Oh, you awful! Oh, that wasn't him that fell. Uh, I did used to do it, and there is a way to do it with a stationary handler. I'm just not satisfied. I need more speed now. But there is a way to install the turn with a stationary handler and with the pretense I will speed it up. And if you said, when do you do that? With little tiny dogs, little Yorkies and stuff, it works. And um, with very young puppies, if you can keep the people from rubbing their head. All right, let's just do one more so we can go down this way.
you, you want them running up till the end. I mean, you want them coming at you up to the end. So I think you need to be ready if they beeline. And you said, why did he beeline? Well, Skylar made it down here, so he saw Skylar coming through the gate. So you're, if you said, what's my job? My job is to wait for the dog to beeline and beeline. And beeline the other direction. If I want a beeline on a recall, uh, there's no other way. They're not going to run dead at you in a straight line unless it's a purpose-driven behavior. I, that's the reality of it. They're not going to run over there to get petted. They're not going to... You know, unless you've installed this behavior very specifically, this does not happen. I understand that. Now, I understand the reason this footwork, you don't see this footwork on recalls is because just it's just a methodology. It's just a byproduct. I did not initially understand that that was, you could get that footwork in every dog. And if you said, when did you start figuring it out? When I sped everything up, that's when I figured it out. All right, so Skylar will probably drive him away from the handler. Go. Skylar will wander off down that way. Don't run away now, Skylar. Queso! You know, you've got to put stuff in front of the dog. That's just what I tell people. You, it's not going to work if you do it with a stay. If you're making them stay and then calling them to you, that isn't going to work. All right, so I've got something in front of the dog. I've got Skylar right there moving along very slowly. And so if I can get some distance, if I can get this puppy to go ahead of me, and I'm saying, okay, I need, I'm measuring my recall training by yards. This will help me, not by feet. I'm not measuring it by feet. I'm not, oh, he's six feet away. I did, I, he was six feet away, and I did it six times. Oh, boy. That's, that's got to be the end of it, too. That's got to be the end. If you're going to work a bunch of them in. But I waited. I waited until he was beelining. Skylar never knows. Like, he doesn't ever really realize what he just avoided. But I do practice. I practice spinning them off that dog. And if you said, when does that come in handy? Uh, don't make me go get... Hi, Tony! Don't make me go get the video called. Oh, I know you saw that one, Tony. Oh, how to break up a dog fight. All right, let's just go this way. Oh, look, he's going to see him again. He's just so tempting looking. I'm just going to let him go. Skylar doesn't have any reaction. He's got a little default, though. Anyway, it's a beautiful day, and it's going to be a great weekend. I've got a bunch of good episodes planned. Oh, the, oh, Tony, Tony, guess what? The Great Dane's coming back uh, Monday, that blue Great Dane. So I'll be having some episodes with that one next week. And um, Nina might have someone to adopt Angus. It's, it's going to be hard to part with them, I've got to tell you. And they're going to have to get the collar and stuff. It's not going to work. It's not going to be. Well, we love dogs. I'm sure you hear that all day, Tony. Who cares? I love... I don't know what. A lot of things, though. <laughs> Too many to list. But that doesn't make me good at them. You know? I love watching crime shows. I don't go out and commit murder. All right, so I like... <laughs> Tony's like, ay, ay. Now, is it That just isn't enough. If you said, well, we're not at a point in the world. Queso! You know, and if there is, you know, what I say is velocity has a sound. And if you said, what was it there? <laughs> anyway, thank God. Uh-oh. Oh, I just dropped the remote. Oh, 
He'll probably pick it up. Hang on. Yay. <laughs> you precious angel. Hang on. Oh, wait. Hey, Mommy's hand. Mommy's hand. Yay. Oh, there. Uh, if I say I honestly can't believe this piece of garbage, then the signal comes back. I've got it all figured out now. All right, so he's going to go for that platform. And I'm just adding the pager. And if you said, well, we, it would do it. With There's all kinds of people that do it without the pager. Your job is to do it with the pager. You know, it's, it's like telling somebody, well, can you communicate without text? I've got people that's my whole relationship with them. Yeah, I told you Mark was going to dump me one time as a friend because I couldn't text because I had this stupid phone. I didn't know how to do it. It was a long time ago. I'll tell you, I straightened up quick. All right, so, you know, you can see that what this puppy is saying to itself is I'm, I'm giving whatever we're doing with this handler 110%. It's not... Yeah. Don't get on that platform. You know, and if you said, well, what do you want of getting on the platform? You know, if it's getting slower or whatever, you're kind of looking for, you know, them to kind of add a little bit to it. Yeah. Oh, be careful. Oh, you got to watch out. They cut you off. Yeah. No reaction. No reaction. You've got to just be totally deadpan. He won't keep trying that because it's not working. Yay. Yeah. Hi, Sabari. Oh, Sabari, guess what? The Great Dane is um, coming back in next week. I'm going to do some episodes for you. They're, and you know as well as they're very sensitive dogs. You can't force them that I know of. You can't force They're too physically strong. I'll go find that video of that deaf one I trained. Oh, my God, it was like 160 pounds. There's no way. You can't force them to do anything. <laughs> you could try. It wouldn't work. Anyway, guys, I'm going to, thank God I got the halo. And honestly, this kind of looks like maybe some squirrels were scratching at it. But all of you guys need to get one of these. Because then you'll never, you'll be able to go live. Well, he's not leaving yet, Timothy. And again, I told Nina, anybody's going to have to get the collar. You know, we can just, that you've got to have a continuum. If, you know, if there's no commonality between me and the new handler, that's not good. If you said, how many commonalities? As many as possible. And if you said, why? Because the dog is obviously very, very successful. No, Timothy, I honestly, I was, when it first came, I was like, oh, this is awful, awful. It was very, very exhausting. I mean, I had to, I'd lock every single dog up before I could get him out. All, all, yeah, every single time I had to get him out. It was very exhausting. All right, guys, I will be right back. And, no, don't, don't say goodbye to Angus yet. But, and Sabari, I want you to tune in next week or just catch up when you can. Uh, with the Great Dane, because that's what I see in all those pictures of those Great Danes, oh, is they all have the tail tucked, and if you said, what is that coming from? The handler touching them. So you've got to be able to get these things. If you could get a big platform, you could get them stacking without touching them, and then you could add the leash, you know. You can just get them stacking like it without ever being deliberately not touching them. And whoops. And then you could add the leash once the tail was already up. I think once you put the leash on, the tail sort of droops. And then if anything happens after that, next thing it's tucked. And it's, you need a damn crowbar to get this thing untucked. I just think you, it, your champion should have a flag for a tail. That thing should be up and, you know, ready to do something. I think that's where people go wrong with them there. They're telling them just don't move. And it's like, Eesh, this thing's putting me under a vice. Don't move. Tuck my tail. Guard myself. Don't move. If I move, they're going to attack me. Not you, but some of those people. Anyway, guys, I will be right back.